the bot is late today. Don't think it's pinged yet, has it? Oh, of course it pings. Right as I say it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, Juan and Amelia, thank you so much for the eight months. How are you doing? And B R N Dola, thank you so much for the one bit. Zias, hello, Zios, hello, hello. Today I finished my first custom build. Wait, Ellie, I thought. What? I thought you've been building for people already. Have you not finished all those? I thought you built a keyboard for Sardosh. <laughs> what? Um, Softboy Egg, thank you so much for the five months. Hello from Singapore. Whoa. Sensei Gia, thank you so much for the nine months. This notive bot is mastering his <laughs> Oh, flex. Oh, that's a liege. Oh, crap. Sorry. Wrong Ellie. <laughs> Too many Ellie's. Flexor man, thank you so much for the five of the subs. I have to respond to your. I saw your DM. I didn't respond. <laughs> I will uh, respond sometime. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not ignoring you. I just. Uh, I wish Discord had like a uh, mark as unread feature. Cause like sometimes I'll accidentally open um, messages and then I just forget to respond. It has one? What? No way. No, there is no mark as unread. What? For DMs? Where is there a mark as- I don't see a mark as unread. Right click the message? Wait! Oh, it works! What? I didn't know about this. Well, today I learned. Um, Kotaru, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Fmark, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Holy moly. Jerk chicken, hello. I didn't know, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty good. Love making folders? I knew about folders, yeah. Folders, everyone's been asking for the longest time. Yeah, very glad they rolled out folders. What the f- Oh, I can thank this person, Soul Serpent. Thank you for the emote. Holy, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Soul Serpent. Are, is this your first 10 gifted subs? Yeah, this is your first, wow, first time gifting and you gifted 10 subs. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Not mark gifted subs as unsub. I'm a lurker. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You're just the top gifter of the month currently. Where did you get your rings from? I have a command. Exclamation rings. Any unboxings? Yeah, we got unboxings to do. We've got a couple things to unbox uh, on a later stream. I'm expecting like four items today. I know one of them delivered, but I won't be unboxing it on stream. It's gonna be a good YouTube video. Oh, okay, none of them have cam. Code Taco, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Can I buy one of your nostalgia hoodies? Uh, sure, $500. If you want this one or the red one. Ham Kenobi, hello. On an Uber on my way to work. Wait, you're going to work so late, Ham Kenobi. What the? What kind of beans are you drinking right now? Oh, I didn't update the command. Um, this is a Costa Rican blend. It was sent by my viewer, Ethan. I forgot the exact name of the company. Your mech market post today got lots of hate. Thoughts? No thoughts. It's just a uh, people being pe people being internet people and salty. 
I, I, I read through all of it. Didn't think much of it. <laughs> if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. And I'll lower the price. Um, Oli Freakus, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Worked from home in the morning. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah. I don't know. I also feel... So, I mean, a couple things. One, I definitely did price it high because I'm trying to buy a motorized slider. Not that that justifies my uh, high price, but if it sold, I would have been happy. It would have made paying for the uh, motorized slider a lot easier. If it doesn't sell, I'll just lower the price. Um, secondly, uh, I was misinformed. I thought A stock number two revision, I thought A stock number one revision ones were selling for around 1800. So I thought because mine was built, 2K wasn't that much of a markup. But uh, I guess I was wrong on that end. I don't really keep up with mech market prices anymore. I don't really purchase a lot of keyboard products. But yeah, I, I was also misinformed on that end. Um, yeah. And that's all I have. Counter offer. Th really? You're gonna, you were willing to pay 300 for this hoodie? Are you trolling, Oli Freakus? Now that you said so, people expect you to lower the price. Yeah, I did lower the price. I lowered the price. I discovered you YouTube channel three days ago and I binge watched it. Thank you. Daily quest waste 2K points. <laughs> when do you think you're gonna- Oh, Davis, hello. When do you think you're gonna open comms again for keyboards? I'm hoping I can open up once before the end of the year. We'll see. It probably smells like you, that's why. Actually, I, can't, I probably don't know what I smell like. I don't really wear this out. I haven't worn my Nostalgia hoodies out much. So it's kept been kept pretty clean. Lower the price on what, by the way? The number was two one revision one that I'm selling. Have I tried Vietnamese coffee? I definitely have. Please make one to two hour typing videos. Do people actually want? I mean, I thought about making longer typing test videos, but why? You can just loop it. Should I actually start making? You guys are just trying to troll me, huh? <laughs> you, if I started uploading one hour typing test videos, do you know how much that would increase <laughs> what I have to do? <laughs> it would increase filming time. It would increase export time of the video. It would increase transfer time of the video. <laughs> Uh, yo, Booty Clap, thank you so much for the tip. Uh, your local hardware, so you can purchase it online. I don't know if you're international or not. If you're in the States, you can purchase it off Amazon for pretty cheap. Um, but like my soldering iron. So this is the brass wool. But you could also use a sponge like this. You can just get a, I don't think this is a special sponge. It's literally just a sponge. You uh, wet it with a little bit of water and it should clean off as well. How about every six months or so you combine all your typing tests so people can just watch a ton of them at once. I don't think people, I think people would be more, in, uh, actually, I don't know. Record single key presses, get someone to use an AI to make two hour videos. 
Yo, Crass Song, hello. Iron Fist, hello. What's your preferred linear? I have a command. Exclamation fave linear. You need a cloth to wipe Apple's new display? You need a cloth to wipe any display. What? That's not exclusive to the Apple display. I know this is off topic, but I have some questions about software engineering and stuff related to your last job. Is there anywhere I could pick your brain? Maybe if it's message you and message you back. Of um, you could try putting it in chat. It has to be a special cloth. Wait, really? Are you guys trolling me? The new Apple display requires a special cloth? Apple XDR. What is so special about this cloth? You guys are trolling me. I I haven't heard about this cloth you need. What? That is true. What is true? We aren't trolling. Okay, so what is this? What is so special about this cloth? Can can chat tell me? Holy chat is so active today. <laughs> okay, let me see this link. What? The company insists that, oh wait. That you only use a single special cleaning cloth that comes with the monitor. If you use it. doesn't say the price that's pretty troll dude you don't screw that you don't need a apple branded cloth you just use a just use a tear types microfiber cloth Um, filth GG, thank you so much for the 10 months. <sighs> if you buy Windows, brain is smooth. What? Are GMK keycaps supposed to have a little bump scratch on the side aiming towards the cable? Yes. Uh, GMK keycaps have that. You can see it on my keycaps. If it'll focus, it doesn't want to focus. You can see it. <laughs> Wasting my points on something <laughs> worthless. Oh no, what, ha what happened to that link? Hold on, hold on. I see you, Pluto. Uh, that's the timer, right? Hold on. Hopefully that works. <sighs> All right, shall we get to unboxing? This box is big. What could they have possibly sent? I'm gonna stand up for this.
here types. Yeah, I unboxed it. It didn't it wasn't branded as drop. So I didn't know what it was, so I opened it and then I realized it was from drop. Ooh. Got a couple stuff. Need to have types hoodies? Oh, uh, that's the hope next year. I wanna have merch next year. There is a there is a Korean company I found that I've been building rapport with. So we'll see if next year I can have merch. Do you like high quality merch, not cheap ass? Yeah, if I do merch, it won't be cheap. I want to have... Oh, I want to have quality merch that's expensive. I don't want to sell like cheap cookie cutter merch. Oh. Oh, wait. I got sent the mass drop control. Do I finally get to have a control keyboard I can bust out to educate all these newcomers? Yo, free Halo. I have so many holy pandas now. <laughs> drop has sent me so many Halo switches. I have my own personal stock of holy pandas before I got sponsored. Wait, what's this? This isn't keyboard. Pro tech? This is a sponsored stream, by the way. I put that in the title. <gasps> we got Red Samurai. I think this is their new bandolier design. Yeah. This is probably the set that only comes with the compatibility for their keyboards it's probably not the full set we'll see what this is call kelly why kelly yo all right red samuel man what is red samuel man Kelly is Red Sam? Why? Why is he Red Sam? Alright. Um, let's start with this. I'm ex I want to see what this is. Pro Tech. Oh. Has their new logo. Comes in a pretty nice box. Oh, it's got magnets. Whoa, it's two-way magnet? What the? Never seen this. Oh. At ProTech, our mission is to provide you with the highest caliber, caliber of humankind's oldest tool. Offer the ultimate in our core values. Quality, craftsmanship, integrity. Uh, okay, follow them at Pro Tech Knives, if you vibe with their, ooh, made in the USA, Kekona. Ooh, they know I like knives now. Wait, what? Ha, what does limited? Lifetime mean? Oh, so is it life? Is it a lifetime warranty or is it a limited warrant? Huh? Doesn't limited and lifetime contradict each other? It 
means as long as they continue to sell the product. Oh, it tells us what is not covered, what is covered. Replacement parts and labor only. All knives returned for warranty consideration must include $15 for return handling and shipping. What is covered? All knives are subject to normal wear and tear. This warranty does not cover normal wear or damage caused by neglect, misuse, abuse. Okay, I still don't think, I still don't understand what is limb, oh, it doesn't matter. This knife will probably only be used for opening packages. Don't think I need to send this in for a warranty. Comes with a nice sleeve, Protect USA. Nice. Pixel Dog, thank you so much for the Touch Prime sub. Oh. Oh. Caution Sharp Edge Handle with Care. Oh. Boy, this is so much heavier than my knife. Oh. Wait, this looks beefy. what it looks like on one side. Protec USA. Drop CRM 20 CV. It's got design. It's got a, is this just called a belt buckle, belt clip? And I'm guessing you can, this is for like you want to attach it to your lanyard or something. What's CPM? Ooh. Ooh. That was pretty satisfying. All right, time for CSGO. Where's my glove? I don't have a glove. Crap. Press F to inspect. It's got a very matte finish. I touch it and like, you can see my oils. How do you determine if like a Knife has good balance. Do I just like do this? Where's the center of balance on this? Oh, the center of balance on this is like so delicate. <laughs> Throw it up in the air. Okay, cut a piece of paper. All right, got my post-it. Let's see, does this go like this? Can my knife do that? Oh wait, this is the sticky side. Okay, it's definitely a cleaner cut with this new knife. I, this is, I've also been using this for a while. It's probably more dull. But this new knife cuts it clean. It's like, oh, If it gets a grip, I've heard like lubricating, do I need to lubricate this knife? Is that a thing people do? Should we apply Crytox 205 grade zero to this? I think this one, this button 
What's, is there a term for like the release button? This is what you press to uh, retract it, right? Ooh. Wait, it retracts so nicely. Hold on. Bring it out. Oh. I just click it. it. Just kind of falls down. I don't even need to like apply force. Pop it out. Just hold it and it just drops. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Okay, you gotta flick it pretty hard for it to go all the way. Ooh. Nice. Guess I'll be using this to uh, open new cases. Oh, should I just have like a growing collection of knives on the top of my desk as we uh, collect more knives? Check out some custom knives. Oh no, I've I've like seen good knives. It can, it's like pretty intense. Like I can I appreciate nice knives now, but it's like I don't want to. I can't afford another hobby. <laughs> And like, it's not a priority for me to collect knives or anything. What do I do with this? Do I keep this or what? I'll keep... Is it a thing? Like keeping original packaging for knives? Do people do that? Alright. Alright, I'll keep it. Um, Pixel Dog, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Sorry I missed it. Okay, this is trash. Okay, let us open Red Sam. Oh, let us use our new knife to open Red Sam. All right, do you guys like this new design? This oh, oh, it continues all the way around. I see. Vote yes or no in chat. How do you guys like this new bandolier design? Oh, it's like... Oh. Kind of leaning towards no. Nyato, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. It's so edgy. It's definitely... Baja Patty, thank you so much for the 200 bits. It's not my taste. Definitely caters to... A more anime kind of crowd. <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't like this. I have to flick it. Do you have to flick all knives really hard to open it? Like, if I don't have enough force, it doesn't make it all the way around. Uh, you have to, like, you have to give it the... Whoosh. It's safer that way? I see. Oh. It went in so smooth. Lead. Cool. I like this button though. I don't I personally don't like it when like you have to push the thing here. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm weak and I don't know much about knives yet. I like this button. I like how it just drops down. I don't know, is that inferior or what? Liner lock OP. What knife is that? I just unboxed it. You can purchase this on Drop. It's the Protec knife. Vanilla Topra or BK Domes? I personally prefer Vanilla Topra. If I had to choose. I think when it comes to BK Domes, um, I like the, I don't like, if it's like too intense, much. I like the ultralight or the original BK domes or like the light. 
All right, looks like I was right. I only have compat for a traditional TKL. Literally, just a traditional TKL. Standard ANSI. But hey, I have a set for myself now. Wish it came with stepped caps. Uh, I could care less. I just wish it came with uh, 7U bottom row support. I All I need is wind keyless support. <laughs> wind keyless support, short right shift. That's all I need. All right. Now let us open this. Drop. Manufactured in China. Control mechanical keyboard. Didn't you build this keycap recently? Yes, um, Fedmeister uses GMK Red Samurai. Ja ja. Ooh. Comes with a pretty nice velvety touch. I like that it tells me this. Nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh. So these are the magnetic feet. Oh. The control comes with. It. Oh. Okay, it's not strong enough. Oh, just kidding. It is strong enough. Comes with a pretty nice keycap puller. Is this the one that? Fun fact: If you unscrew it, there is a, a Phillips head screwdriver bit. Can I? No, I can't. I don't know how, if people unscrew their uh, keycap puller. Yo, Keone, hello. For the oh, switch puller. And does this a USB C cable? Yes. USB C cable. Oh, it's kind of thick. It's not a bad cable. Pretty decent quality. All right, I don't care about all of this. What I care about is this. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> not high pro? Yeah, this is the low profile. I personally, I'm personally not a fan of low profile, but some people like it. I don't. Let's do a typing test. Oh, this has two USB-C ports. Oh, we gaming boys. We're gamers. All right, can we get the uh, Where's Per Minute bot started? Yo, look at this. I don't think the bot has started yet. RGB is kind of cool. Um, let's see what's available. Hold FN plus A. Oh.
What color? Is this just white and red? Ooh, that's that's kind of clean. Oh, I like this. That's a nice gradient. Ooh. Brightness increase, decrease, WS. So this is max brightness. We're going for max brightness. All right. You guys ready? So this is the uh, stock drop control. It does not have the feet installed. I think it's stock halo trees. I believe it's halo trees. Let's see what this board sounds like. Oh, we do, do, do. Oh, Ironfish, it's Kuromu, boop beep pep. All right, let's see what the mods sound like. Actually, I have no idea what this sounds like. <laughs> well, hello. Oh. If I add the feet, does this make it? Ooh, that's some pretty strong magnet. Does it make it worse? Wait, can I make this negative tilt? Oh, oh, that's in there strong. You can tilt, ooh. Wait, I don't, you can't tell on camera, I think. But you could install feet like this. So it's negative tilt. Yo, this is, this is what peak ergonomics looks like, guys. Wait, what if I, what if you do it diagonally? Does this just raise the overall height? Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> That's bad, <laughs> okay. Don't do that. You have to, you should use the one the same side. <laughs> these, this, these magnets are pretty strong. Can I like move my, oh, it stays on the desk. Okay. People complain that pushing the keyboard side to side causes the feet to come off, but I have that keyboard and it doesn't for me. Yeah, mine, um, I'm putting it side to side. They're pretty strong. I don't know. I am using a desk mat. I don't know if the desk mat helps or makes it worse. Yeah, this the magnets are like pretty strong. You need a good amount of force to like take it off. 
Um, it's got six feet on the bottom. The feet themselves also have feet, so that's pretty nice to see. What is the model number of this run? Where do you check? That's the model number, I suppose. Huh. So this keyboard is hot swap, right? Oh, it's South Face? Why? Why? Are all the switches like that? Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. North facing, sorry. It's kind of bright, huh? You still can't tell, I think. Let me remove the music. Oh. oh, this also does not have... It doesn't support <laughs> uh, PCB mount switches. You have to use plate mount. Feels bad. I guess I gotta clip whatever switch I wanna put in here now. Uh, what kind of stabs does this use? I'm gonna guess plate mount. Yep, it uses plate mount stabs. Music to my ears. <laughs> um, keycaps are okay. It's not. It's definitely better than gamer font. It's okay. I mean, font font like this is probably what you'd expect from a from a nicer pre-built you can buy, in my opinion. I wouldn't say this is anything close to gamer font. Uh, the stabs are pretty bad. <laughs> I feel like these stabs might be worse than the Huntsman that I unboxed. I don't know how I feel about this centered font though. Like that shift, is that centered? It is centered, okay. Yeah, it's centered, okay, it's centered. Yeah. How much does this retail for? That's the question. If I go to drop control keyboard, $200. Oh. Okay, let's bring out the Huntsman. I'm gonna bring out the Huntsman. Should we put on these keycaps? Might as well, right? I don't know. Oh, uh, let's compare it stock first. Let us compare it stock. To the Razor Huntsman Tournament Edition. All right, let's take a vote. Oh, hold on. Also, plug this in. Hmm. 
All right. From an aesthetic standpoint, do you guys prefer the control or the razor? Yes, no. Yes, no. Oh wow, you guys prefer the look of the razor. Interesting. Wait, this is not the RGB I like. I like oh, that's also not what I like. Probably this one. Just cause it's black TBH? Mmm, okay. What about the bottom? You guys just look at the bottom. Which one do you like better? Yes, no. Yes, no. Not that the bottom matters, just curious. Oh, okay, you guys like the bottom of this mark. Would you guys rather Okay, that, that's that's given. Okay, next poll. Would you guys rather have these uh, magnetic feet? Or would you rather have a 6 and 9 degree double flap? Yes? No. Do you guys like the magnetic system of this better? Or do you like the flipping out system of this? Both are bad, Sorhan says. Okay. Flipping is so cheap. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think it's no arguing that the feet on the control way better than the one on the razor. I don't I don't like the square shape. It's also I mean it's it's definitely got thickness. But like the one on the control, this is beefy. That's a beefy feet foot right there. Yeah. Oh okay. Let's do a... I should both do them flat, huh? Well, let's compare sounds flat. Oh, fudge. Okay. They are both flat on the table. Um, they're different switches, obviously. But I think when you purchase this from Drop, it comes with Halo Clears, or Halo Trues, right? If I click Buy... Okay, you can choose what switch you want. Okay. But I feel like Halo Clear is probably going to be a popular choice when people purchase this. Okay, I'm gonna take off. Uh... All right, these are what the mods sound like. Point it down. Razer is actually significantly louder. Um, both have pings. 
I want to say this is just as pingy as this keyboard. It's just, it's so loud, you can't hear the ping as much. <laughs> and I think the ping on this is higher pitched. But it might also be because of the switch. Like maybe if you put lube switches in here, it's hot swap. So maybe it might, it'll obviously sound nicer than uh, stock Halo switches. Which one do I like better? I think... <coughs> I think if we're talking strictly... Aren't you sponsored by Drop though? Yeah, I'm sponsored by Drop. But I... I don't blindly show. <laughs> I think that's one thing. I mean, also because I'm a smaller uh, content creator, if they uh, rev if they uh, revoke the sponsorship because I spoke poorly of their product, oh well, <laughs> it's not the end of the world for me. <laughs> I think if we're talking strictly pitch between this configuration with the Halo Clear and the Razer, I think the Razer has a nicer pitch. The volume on the Razer is significantly louder than the volume of this. Pinginess, kind of hard to tell because the volume of this is just so loud. Um, stabilizers for sure have less rattle on the Razer Huntsman though. I think that's, we can definitely agree on that. Oh crap, what I do? Uh, how much does the Huntsman go for? This was 130? Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition TKO. This retails for what? 130. Ooh. Okay, so would you guys rather pay 130 for a switch with a optical switches? Or would you rather pay $200 for a keyboard that has hot swap? If you're talking sub 200 range, $70 is a big difference. Neither, I'm saying if you had to pick one. Okay, vote vote in chat. Yes, if you would rather pay $200 for the hot swap capability. I would say the drop feels more premium too. It's an all, it's an, it's an aluminum plate and bottom piece with a acrylic diffuser, I'm gonna guess. Whereas the Huntsman is all plastic with an aluminum plate. Would you rather pay $130 for the Razer or 200 for this? At least you can leave the hot stuff. Okay, so people would rather go with this. Yes, I know, I know a lot of you guys would choose neither. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys would just rather uh, save the money and purchase something nicer, but... Yeah, I think I would rather go with the drop too. Just cause it has hot swap.
Yeah, I would rather go with this. I personally think the RGB looks nicer on the control too. If RGB matters. What kind of stabs on the drop? Plate mount. this with the feet. Yeah, I would say definitely in terms of keyboard premiumness and experience, the drop control feels like a more premium, oh whoops, <laughs> feels like a more premium product. So I guess that's it's good on them. It does have a $70 difference. So I would you would hope to have it feel more premium. Um, so <laughs> Soko Mir, thank you so much for the three months. Still wouldn't pay 200. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't pay 200. I would rather save 200 and get a nice GMK set or just use that to fund my next key. Use that to fund my next keyboard purchase, but some people really want hot swap or they're stuck on a very tight budget and they want something now. Yeah. Both are so loud though. <sighs> Someone wanted me to type on my number two instead. Putting them right next to each other makes the control look like a budget number two. <laughs> well, yeah, with the right perspective. They look kind of, I mean, TKLs look mostly the same from the top. <laughs> but a side view, though, a side view is a very, very different story. Yeah. This is, this is you, the gamer, gamer degen, Ugh. versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. The rich uh, doctor, MD, PhD, JD, general of the US Army, versus you, degen, gamer, living in mother's basement. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Should we game today with the control? Bring back the music. No thanks. Why not? 
You guys don't like the sound of this key? You guys don't want to hear me spamming Wazdi? Buying weapons? This numpad? Numero, sir? Customize the alt? I don't need to. I mean, I've already customized other pre builds before. I don't think. Um, even with the rocket here, we demonstrated that if you just lube your stabilizers, it makes a huge difference in your perception of the keyboard. I'm actually dying every time I hear. Wait, Ed, are you home? Is Maz awake? He's probably sleeping now, huh? All right, well, thank you, Drop, for uh, sending this out. Oh, wait, 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 one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Let's try. Does GMK keycaps save this? Or make it worse? <laughs> Um, L and S P D Z. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay. Pause the music. Remember this. This is the space bar. Do you plan on making a coffee series on YouTube? Probably not. I'm not a. I'm not skilled enough in coffee to be a making coffee content. <laughs> All right. So would you rather have that space bar or oh, I can't tell if this made it worse or better. When it comes to pingy, worse sounding keyboards like this, is this PBT? Maybe it's ABS. I don't know if this is, this might be PBT. comes to cheaper boards, even with the Razer Huntsman, right? We tried putting a GMK keycap set on it. That sounded worse. Yeah, GMK definitely sounds worse on this. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Maybe that's why... Maybe that's why gamer culture is all about PBT. Because they use such bad keyboards. Like, PBT just works better for them. Maybe that's why they've been brainwashed, huh? Just got here. Are those holy pandas? No, these are just stock Halo Clear. Or Halo True, sorry. I think you're onto something. Yeah, if you use... If you're using, like, a cheaper mechanical keyboard, PBT definitely sounds better. figure out the gamer community one piece by piece. There's also a pretty pretty popular gamer product uh, someone sending out to me. So I'm pretty excited to try that out. To see what all this hype and rave is about. Oh, 
Red Sam. I think it's a nice looking set. It's a, sh <coughs> it's a shame it's not the full base kit from the original group buy, but if it works for your keyboard, well, I personally think Red Sam looks nice. Oh, wait, what the? This one's so much more loose. Yo, cat, hello. Does it, does the, is the magnetic magnet already losing its strength? Still on there, but makes noise. I'm not gonna game with this. <laughs> I think uh, this goes back in the box. And then uh, I'll pull it out whenever I need to give demonstrations. This will be good for future purposes. Um, if we ever get like front pages again or something and we need to demonstrate the difference between unlube stabs and lube stabs. Finally have something people can relate to. Okay, before I put this away, any last thing you guys want me to show off on stream or no? Oh, Camel sucks. Hello, XCS2. Hello, hello. Okay, looks like nothing chat wants to see. Finally, this nightmare is over. Alright. I think my favorite product of today. This Kneef. That's pretty nice. Do you have to desolder to take out stabs? Um, if it's a soldered build, yes. If it's hot swap, you don't need to solder anything. Cherry brown or black? Um, I would use neither stock. You should definitely lube it. Depends on what you want. Blacks as a stock switch are too heavy for me. If it's spring swaps to a lighter spring, I personally like. Quick question, how much would it be for you to make one like that keyboard, but better? What do you mean better? But I have rates on my website. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, just kidding. Of course, as I say that. Hey, give me your lunch money. Um, should I build a keyboard or no? Jenny Pa, hello. <laughs> What's that knife? It's from Drop. It's the uh, ProTech knife. They sent this out to me along with the other keyboard stuff. Was that a new knife? Yeah, Drop sent this out. It's got a very satisfying... Oh. And you just click the button and it... Boop. <clears throat> Carve your initials onto the number two. All right, let's do this. We're doing it, boys. Psych! <laughs> oh, fudge, what just fell down? <laughs> I should engrave it, huh? That would make this a unique one of one. Number two revision one, huh? <laughs> 